36-year-old Talat Tusis has roots in Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation and Akwesasne. She's known for her ribbon skirt teachings about women's roles in her culture. She's also been clean for 16 years and says she quit crystal meth by only using traditional medicines and ceremonies. I feel like the new generation of elders are the new generation of thought provokers, the question askers, the, the ones who are saying, this hasn't been working, what can we do to fix it? Tatusa says she will be part of a new generation of elders who will use therapy together with ceremonies to help heal from the trauma that they've endured. We have to really think about that because it's affected us, our elders, what they haven't done, what they haven't dealt with has affected us, what they haven't questioned, you know. And one of the biggest things is that hush-hush of residential school, the secrecy of sexual assault, incest and um, rape and not being able to talk about those things. Tatusa says she was told she was an elder in training so she is embracing the responsibility. Another elder in training, helper, and oscapios in the community is Andre Bear. Bear is a 24-year-old Nehal man from Pine Creek Nation and Canoe Lake First Nation. He says he never experienced his culture as a young man and felt like an outcast whenever he attended powwows and other events. It wasn't until he was adopted in by a medicine man named John Sugar that he really started to practice his culture. I was never raised in our ceremonies. However, once I had the opportunity to uh, participate as a man, um, I felt that it was my inherent obligation to do that and to make it a, a, a mandatory part of my life. And so I do feel that um, uh, living this way uh, is, is, it means you sacrifice a lot more than others would. Bear's mentor died two years ago, but he left him with some sage advice. It doesn't matter where you come from or how you were raised. If you work hard enough to believe and practice our ceremonies, um, the knowledge will come naturally. Bear says he feels the need to save culture, ceremonies, songs, and language within his community. And like Tatusis and a few other elders in training, he understands the urgency of the situation. We need to ensure that these ceremonies continue so our children and grandchildren can survive. It's Honest Pie Pot, CBC News, Regina.